All right, welcome back. 11E, doing powers to matrices. So um, we're just going to focus on one thing, and that is applying powers to appropriate matrices, because you can't do it to any old matrix, um, and where it might be relevant. So, and then, of course, you're going to do all of 11E. The sheets I'll be referring to will be primarily this one, but of course um, you've got this as a backup if you're not sure how I did things. And then the video, once I've finished it, will appear down here in a second. Okay, let's start. Okay, when you're doing matrices and you're powering them, you have to realize that if we're doing A squared, it means we're doing matrix A times matrix A. If we're doing A cubed, it's matrix A times matrix A times matrix A again. And if it's um, to the power of 4, it's A times A times A times A again, but the whole matrix. Okay. Now, the important thing to remember is that you can only apply powers to a square matrix. So if it's not square, it won't work. And we will pretty much be doing these on our cows today. All right. Let's have a look at the first example. So for our first example, we have got... Um, five matrices, U, V, W, X, and Y, and you're supposed to figure out which ones cannot be raised to a power. So I'm going to get my magic pen for that. Give me a second. Found it. I was sitting on it. Okay, so what I'm going to do under each matrix is I'm going to write the order and then use that to show you why it can be powered, raised to a power, or why, why it cannot be raised to a power. So U has two rows and two columns. So that makes it a square matrix. So yes, it can be raised to a power. V is also a 2 by 2 matrix, so that's okay. W is a 2 by 2 matrix, so we're all good. X is, you've got three rows, 1, 2, 3, and three columns, 1, 2, and 3. So it's a 3 by 3, it's good. Y, you can see you've got two rows and three columns, so no. Nah, bad luck, Y, you cannot be raised to a power. So for the matrices above, where applicable, applicable, you're going to find um, the matrix to the power of 2. We're going to use our CAS for this. Okay, so I've arranged it so I can see the original matrices up the top. And we can also see what mostly I'm doing with my calculator. So I need to see, I decided I can square U, so I've got to put it in here. So I'll press that button there, it brings up all the options, and I can use a pre-made 2x2. Two because it's a square matrix, and we enter in the element, so it's 4, 0, 2, tab, 2, and I'm not going to store it, I'm just going to square it really quickly. So if you want to know how to square, it's your little hat, and then the number 2, or you can just press X squared, which is right there. And we see a little 2 appear next to the matrix. We hit enter, and that's our answer, 16, 0, 12, and 4. I'll show you again how to do it for V. So we hit that, we get our two by two matrix, we enter our elements, so one, tab two, tab two, tab four, we square it with our little squared button over here, and then hit enter, we get our new matrix. We can square W. So let's quickly do that. Um, oh, it's decimal, so 0 0.9 tab, 0 0.5 tab, 0.1 tab and 0.5, we hop out, we square it, hit enter, and we get our values. And X is a little bit challenging because it's a 3 by 3 We don't have a free prefab. If we hit that and we don't touch the number of row and columns, it's good to go. And its elements are 0, 0, 2, negative 1, 2, 0, 1, 1, 1. We square that, hit enter, and there's our resulting um, matrix. Okay, so I'm just going to transfer those onto the page. I'll also take a screenshot of the calculator, but that's all you have to do for um, exercise 11E. A couple of last things I want to point out to you guys. When you write it on a piece of paper, make sure you make reference to what you're actually writing. So instead of just writing a random bunch of numbers in a pair of square brackets. I've written U squared, and then the matrix, V squared, and then the matrix, W squared, and Y squared. Um, also note that 
the product matrices have the same order as the square matrix that you used to generate it. So all these had the order two by two and they all gave matrices of two by, by two and Y had an order of three by three and when you squared it, it was still three by three. Okay, all done, good luck.